My lip gloss be cool. My lip gloss be popping. Welcome back all my amigas and pals. Today I was cleaning out my vanity, doing a little inventory on all the makeup that I had, and I realized that I have so many Glossier products, and I thought why not do a really quick little full face of all the Glossier products. Um, pretty much, I'm like missing one or two things here and there, but I figured why not do a full face. Um, if this is a brand that some of you guys have been wanting to try out, I know that kind of like when they started getting popular a couple years ago, I was intrigued um, and especially like the older that I get and the more confident I get with my own skin and my body, I realized that makeup brands like this are the ones that I lean towards because it's sort of like no makeup makeup or enhancing the features that you already have uh, and not really concealing them too much. So with that said, I'm gonna go right ahead um, I'm gonna start off. I don't have any like moisturizers or any skincare products of theirs. I used to use uh, some of their stuff, but as my intrigue broadened for other brands, I have just like kind of like wiped them out uh, in terms of skincare. So I already moisturized with my own moisturizer, and then I'm gonna go ahead with the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. Um, so this has either like little or no coverage. It is literally a skin tint. Um, I've never really tried it before. I kind of seen reviews uh, and the reviews I saw are that they're like literally there, there's like no coverage. So as this is a new video for you, this is a new <laughs> adventure for me, at least trying out this skin tint. Um, and I got it in the color G8. So let's see. I know there's a couple ways that I can apply it. I was like looking on the site. Um, and you can apply it with your hands or with a brush. I'm gonna go ahead with my It Cosmetics Heavenly, it's something, Heavenly Luxe brush and kind of see how it applies with that. And then if not, I'll use my hands on the other side. Okay, so that like literally did nothing, but maybe you're one of those females that is less with beautiful skin and you would benefit from something like this. Um, I wanted to see if this skin tint had any SPF. It doesn't. Well, I feel like I'd have to be having like the literal perfect skin day to be able to use this. I actually don't even know why I bought this because I have a lot of like uh, unevenness and I feel like pigmentation on my skin. Like I don't necessarily have like texture or or you know any active kind of blemishes like pimples and stuff but I do have a lot of like unevenness so this isn't really helping <laughs> well now I kind of remember why I was so scared to use it because I don't really feel like it did anything all right let's read on the website what it says it is in the land between bare skin and makeup <laughs> literally because it kind of looks the same to me uh, exists an imperceptible wash of color that is a perfecting skin tint. Breathable ultra thin formula evens out skin's appearance for a smooth dewy finish. Diamond powder gives a brightening soft focus effect and minimizes the appearance of pores. And it comes in 12 sheer colors. Um, I don't know, I guess the more it's like sitting on my face, I guess it kind of looks like it evened out a little bit. It's doing like a weird thing around my nose. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead. So I have two of their stretch concealers uh, in the color G10 and 11. 
Um, I usually use it, like let's say I'm gonna go run an errand or go grocery shopping and I literally don't wanna put anything on my face but I don't wanna look like a zombie. Uh, I will literally just kinda grab one of these with my finger and put it on, but I'm trying to see, I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna use G10 because it looks more like my skin color. I don't want it to be too light and then you're like, whoa, what's going on under her eyes? Okay, let me try this with my beauty blender. Okay, so the stretch concealer comes in 12 different shades. Buildable concealer that covers everything from dark circles to blemishes uh, with a dewy glowy finish. I feel like I'm like really shiny right now. This is one sure dewy finish. The good thing about a majority of these products is that they're like paraben free, fragrance free, cruelty free, vegan. Um, that's another reason why I like the brand. I do love makeup companies that follow those guidelines. Okay, so I feel like this is pretty much as covered up as I'm gonna get with these products. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead, so now Glossier doesn't have a bronzer. Um, so I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. It's a cream product. Um, I feel like Glossier and Milk uh, kind of have either the same aesthetic as far as their makeup products and kind of the same feel. It's like that no makeup, makeup, natural um, kind of cream products. So what better of a bronzer to use than that one, at least for this look. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with probably one of the top most favorite products that Glossier has to offer, and it is the Cloud Paint Seamless Cheek Color. I have in a million different colors, uh, and I wanna buy them all. I just, I love blush, I love blush everywhere. I love it so much, it goes on so seamless. Okay, so clearly I've used Dusk too many times. Uh, it's like the perfect nude pink kind of blush. Uh, it kind of almost is like a bronzer or it could really go on as a bronzer on really, really fair toned skin. Um, but for me, it's like the perfect color of blush. Then I have this puff color that is really, really pink. And then I have this color Beam which is like a coral uh, kind of color. So I'm gonna go ahead with Dusk. So I usually kind of take a little bit of the, a little bit of the cloud paint and just dab it on. And then I'll use the bottom of a beauty blender and buff it out. I don't know if it's just me and maybe my skin tone um, and the fact that this color is literally so beautiful. I feel like it fits me perfect. I will have nothing on my face sometimes. If I'm gonna go out and do anything, I will put on the cloud paint just on my cheeks. I love that flushed uh, look like you've just gotten some sun. I love putting blush everywhere, if you haven't noticed. It's such a pretty look. So now I actually have some samples of the Glossier Cloud Paint. Um, I already have Puff, but I kind of want to use this color Storm. Um, and if you could, I don't know how well you could see it. It's their more uh, burgundy mauve type color. I just want to see, like adding a little bit how it looks on my skin tone. Um, I've been wanting to try it out, so I got this little sample. It's definitely pretty. It looks a little bit more visible than the dusk, but I just love how natural the dust looks. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on my lid. 
So I'm putting these cloud paints on my eyes because I actually don't have any of the Glossier eye products. Um, when they did come out, I would read the reviews and none of them really jumped out at me. A lot of uh, the people that would leave reviews didn't really have the greatest things to say. So I just figured I was better off not spending the money on them and just getting the other products from Glossier that I already love. Okay, now that I have all these creamy, beautiful products on my face, I'm gonna go ahead with the Glossier Wowder. And I have it in the color G8 through 10. So it can go with any of those products if you have those uh, adjacent kind of numbers, I guess. Like how my little skin tint was G8 and then my concealer was G10. So I do like the packaging that this comes in. Um, it kind of keeps all the powder underneath and it just disperses a little bit. I actually really, really love this powder when I'm working with other products that are um, very dewy finishes. I mean, really, I just need to set my concealer, but whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. I have the Glossier Boy Brow. Um, I have it in the color brown. <laughs> um, I use this every single day with any look. Um, it's just one of those gel brows that keeps everything in place. I also do have another Glossier. Oh my God, I'm so dirty. Uh, another Glossier eyebrow kind of tool. It's called the Brow Flick. And so what it is, is you could literally draw like lines uh, if you have any spaces to kind of give the effect of like having some extra hairs. But I don't even know why I bought it because I don't really use it. My eyebrows are pretty full. Um, I do get more use out of the boy brow just because it's a gel, um, like a colored gel and it keeps everything in place because my eyebrows are crazy. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with this and just do what I love to do, which is just brush my eyebrows up and kind of make them fluffy. All right, so I don't really have any Glossier mascara after reading reviews. I didn't really see anything that stood out at me. Um, so again, I'm going to use just another milk product. This is the Kush Mascara. This is one of my favorites. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with the Glossier Halo Scope. I got it in the color Quartz. So this is like their highlighter kind of product. Um, I never know if I should just like go with it right on or if I should use my finger. Let's see. I always get scared. It's kind of like, it kind of tugs. So I'm always scared it's gonna tug at what I literally just put on my face. Let's see. I do like this. It's like a very natural, dewy kind of highlight. Um, it is kind of like sticky, the consistency. So just keep that in mind. Um, I've had times where I've worn it and either my hair gets stuck or like I said, I feel like it kind of moves the product on my face. I don't love the consistency. I just really like the way that it makes my skin look right when I apply it. Ooh, nothing better than looking shiny and dewy everywhere. Okay, last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead with my lips. So I have the Glossier MintBalm.com. This is a universal skin salve. I don't know why it says universal, but then on the back it says swipe onto lips. Well, this is one of my favorites because it smells minty. It moisturizes my lips. They do have tinted ones, if I'm not mistaken, but I already have enough of those and I just want to moisturize my lips. Okay, and to finish it off, one of my favorites is this little Glossier lip gloss. 
So it's in the color Red Rouge, but when it goes onto my lips, it's like, it's kind of like that perfect 90s, 2000 kind of glossy pink lip. This is like my all-time favorite. It leaves my lips looking juicy and super glossy. Um, it's a little bit sticky, but you know, what gloss isn't? But all right, that is it for my full face of Glossier, kind of missing two or three products. But overall, the skin tint actually doesn't look that bad. Um, maybe because I concealed the heck out of my face, but I actually kind of like it. It looks really natural.